Taking a look at the moon, it is a popular belief that NASA do not always share everything they discover, censoring images and hiding things that could be difficult to explain. There are many mysteries and questions which remain unanswered. Are there aliens, secret bases, ancient ruins and artifacts? Due to its rotation around the Earth, we only ever see one side of the moon, which leads people to believe that there may be unknown activity on the far side, hidden from our view. There have been several interesting images taken of the moon over the years which are rather unusual and create speculation. One of these has been dubbed the castle. This strange object was photographed during an Apollo mission. It appears to have a definite structure and casts a long shadow which indicates that it must be rather tall. It also reflects more light than the surrounding rocks, and it's hard to know what it might be. For centuries, strange things have been spotted on the moon sitting on the lunar surface, and they are known as lunar phenomena. Reports date from 1540 to the present day and have been documented by famous astronomers such as Galileo, also by NASA and many amateur astronomers. Flashes of light have been seen, and these could be attributed to meteor impacts or even perhaps some kind of gaseous emissions. But harder to explain are what have been dubbed fast walkers, which have been recorded by some amateur observers. What could account for this anomaly, a satellite orbiting the moon that happened to cross the observer's field of view? It certainly is rather mysterious. The Apollo missions left debris on the moon. Astronauts discarded equipment to make room for moon rocks. As Neil Armstrong and Edwin Buzz Aldrin began their return journey to Earth, they disposed of anything they didn't need from the lunar module. All sorts of things have been left on the moon from human waste, family photographs, flags, and memorials. But some people believe there are other secret structures which the astronauts themselves may have glimpsed. The strange reflection was a moon photograph taken during the Apollo 12 mission, the next mission after the first moon landing. Astronaut Pete Conrad took this shot of Alan Bean as they stood together on the lunar surface. Conrad is visible in the reflection of Bean's visor. You can also see some instrumentation in the foreground of the reflection. But the big question is, what is hovering in the sky, in the background? You can even see the shadow it casts behind Conrad. Some have considered it a UFO. But those who believe the moon landings were faked think the object could be a hanging fixture. But what else lurks on the moon that humans didn't leave behind? The Chinese claim to have found a strange gel-like substance on the moon, an unknown substance sitting in a lunar crater. The rover U-22 made the discovery during its eighth lunar day while zipping through an area of small impact craters. Apparently, a member of the rover's team noticed a small, strange, and colorful patch in one of the mission's most recent images, so the team directed the rover to study it more intensely. The only details that the Chinese have revealed is that it is gel-like and of unusual color. But what could it be? Right now, the best explanation we have is that the material is not actually gel, but probably a rock made of glass or regolith that melted in a high-energy meteorite impact on the surface of the moon long ago possibly the same kind of trinonite pieces formed after meteorite impacts on Earth. Strange materials aren't unheard of on the moon. In 1972, Apollo 17 astronauts found orange-colored soil, but no lunar missions have ever come across a glassy or gel-like material. Then again, this is the first mission ever to investigate the moon's far side. And then there is the lunar cylinder. Spotted during the Apollo missions, one astronaut photographed this strange object. A cylindrical-shaped object was also seen on footage taken from the International Space Station in 2017. And another cylindrical object was spotted shadowing the Space Shuttle Atlantis in 2007. Then there are the claims that astronauts saw several strange objects on the moon, and even that they were sent to seek out and document mysterious sites. NASA's Farouk El-Baz, the man who helped train the astronauts and select the lunar landing sites, discussed some strange incidents involving the astronauts as they explored the lunar surface, a bridge-like structure they had discovered in Mary Chrysium, and another object referred to as Barbara. In 1979, former chief of NASA communication systems, Morris Shatter Lane, claimed that Neil Armstrong, the first man to set foot on the moon, reported to Houston that he could see two saucer-shaped craft sitting on the rim of a nearby crater, and Buzz Aldrin actually filmed the craft. But it is claimed that the film was later confiscated by the CIA. Shatterlane described how many Apollo missions were followed by alien spacecraft, or UFOs, 
and astronauts reported these encounters to mission control, but were ordered to keep quiet. In 1996, several NASA scientists and engineers reported that NASA had discovered man-made or artificial structures in at least 44 regions of the moon. During the Apollo 15 mission in 1971, astronauts David Scott and James Irwin were exploring a region of Mount Hadley when they came across a set of tracks that ran down a slope and out of sight. They were instructed to follow the tracks and came upon something unusual. In transcripts of their conversation with mission control, they described what they saw as an organized structure, uniform in width, spectacular and beautiful. We can only speculate as to what the astronauts really saw when they followed the tracks. Harrison Schmidt of Apollo 17 also reported to Houston that he could see similar tracks in Taurus Litro, at which point the radio conversation cut out. On another occasion, in April 1972, Charles Duke, Thomas Mattingly, and John Young were exploring the Descartes Highlands on the moon. Apparently, Charlie Duke spotted a blue glass-like structure reflecting sunlight on the horizon. Young and Duke both went to investigate, and in conversations with Mission Control, they described beautiful scenery on top of Stone Mountain, incredible domes, and a structure in a ravine with tunnels. It also seems that code words may have been used in conversations between Mission Control and the astronauts on the moon. Ronald Evans was passing over a large crater known as Mare Orientale. He noticed a large object reflecting light, and when he mentions this to Mission Control, they asked him if it could be Vostok. Vostok was one of the first manned Earth orbiters launched by Russia on the 12th of April, 1961. But it's also the name of a Russian research center in the Antarctic. Could the Russians have a similar base on the moon which NASA was searching for? In a conversation between Robert Evans and Mission Control, as he passed over Murray Aitken, he mentions a dome, but also says something unclear, referring to Condor. Condorcy. Condorcet and Condorcet Hotel, with diamond shapes. What could this mean? More code words? He goes on to describe how the area is oval or elliptical in shape. Were the astronauts actively seeking out secret structures on the moon? We have to ask why we cannot see these structures using a telescope. It is possible to see certain details on the moon, but smaller objects are harder to spot. It does seem strange that we can peer into the farthest depths of the universe, but cannot see detailed objects on the moon some people also believe that many of these sites have now been destroyed, erased as part of a wider cover-up to hide the truth from us about what is really happening on the moon. Let us know what you think in the comments below and make sure to like and subscribe.